exciting times because tonight on the Australian Open edition of The 100, I'm joined by last year's Wimbledon finalist Nick Kyrgios of Australia. Hey, guys. <laughs> Lovely to have you. And right next to him is Sophie Monk. Oh, don't. It's so embarrassing. But a little bit catchy. <laughs> Have you ever heard that song before, Nick? Uh, it's not really my genre. It's no one's. <laughs> oh, it was, it was <laughs> Sophie's hit single back in what year, Soph? Too long ago. Don't worry. <laughs> I think you were probably born. <laughs> I mean, you can't go. Oh, um, thanks. Nick, on this screen, we've got 100 Australians. They represent the cross section of our country, and we've asked well. them a series of questions. Okay. You're going to have to guess how many say yes. Question number one one about clothing. How many of our hundred never wear undies? Well, I don't wear undies. Ever? What? Ever. I free ball all the time. On the really? court? Yep. On the court? Yeah, I need to feel it swinging. Really? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that... No. Don't you... When you're running? Feels great. OK, well, That's how awesome. many Nick Kyrgios's are there out there? And so? Uh, I don't have undies on today. No, I'm joking. I've got undies on, but <laughs> so I don't question? feel like they're a necessity. Undies. How many of the hundred never wear undies? Never. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got to say underneath ten percent then. Okay. Yeah. I'll say I'm going to say six percent. It's got to be pretty low. Actually, I'm going to go fifteen. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, wow. You got a lot of money. Well done. That's pretty good. It's well really done. good. That's really good. That was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All right. How many? Australians have flown business class? Um, I'm going to say... Pop your answers in there. I did 35%. Yeah. yeah. Why? Well, it's not really that affordable and premium economy's pretty good. Yep. So I when, just when's 35%. the last time you flew economy? Um, I did it a lot um, throughout my career. Now I'm six foot four, so it's not really ideal for the <laughs> tennis career. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, not, not for a while. I can imagine yeah. so. 60%. Yeah. Well, I feel really sad if it is lower than 60%. Everyone should have a go <laughs> at business class, don't you think? So yeah. that's the least in touch comment I've ever had. Is it? <laughs> but I totally agree with you. Let's see how many Australians have flown business class. 36%. Oh, wow. You are really right close, on the money. Nick. Well yeah, done. You get um, the points for that one. Yeah, I was. Yeah. yeah. Question about forgeries, this one. Mm hmm. How many Australians have used a fake ID? Oh, my God. Oh. I, I would say... I'm going to say 91% of people. Everyone just loves to get on it in this country. Yeah. yeah. I use yeah. Brad Pitt's because we look so alike. Oh, right. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. OK. Uh, have you used a fake ID before? Um, no, I haven't. Really? Yeah, I didn't go out until I was legal. Yeah. And then I don't really have to show my ID much these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being, oh, honest. I'm just yeah. being honest. <laughs> oh, I just got it. I thought you meant because you were old. I see your okay, okay. ID. Yeah. Let's see how many Aussies have used a fake ID. I'm, on, I'm bang on here as well. I'm walking out. 25. That's percent. they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely lying through their I would have thought heaps higher too. Sophie gets the points yeah. on that one. Well done, so. They're lying. Yeah. They're lying. They're lying. Uh, anyway, buddy, thanks so much for playing. Appreciate thanks. it. All the best. See you guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs>